Hello everybody and welcome to Theme Park Coasting and today we're over here at Legoland Winterfall, an absolutely amazing day. But way to ruin this amazing day is by having Hugo Garrett and Ashley. I'm joking, joking, joking. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, God, I'm joking. It's great to have you here. But we're going to do many attractions, look at the distance and it is open till 8 o'clock tonight. So it's going to be an absolutely night phenomenal riding. day. It's only 12 o'clock at the moment. We're going here at midday and it's just going to be so, so excited for everyone. I'm so excited. We're fantastic there. And we're going to start off over here with the best ride over the park, which is, of course, the Haunted House Monster Party. Now, who goes been here for the opening yep. and me and I have ridden it many many times but I just love Hennessy attraction and it was closed actually at the start of COVID-19 like when they reopened the parks because I think it's indoors and, and they actually they actually did say it won't reopen until 2021 and here we are here we are in 2020 and it's open yeah <laughs> and actually and I hope it will open in 2021 or maybe later it's new land which we'll be showing you a lot more later because I've already done a construction video on this which yes, will be uploaded so. I think it would have been already uploaded so check the link for that up there after watching this video of course because we're going to be here for a whole day today and it's going to be absolutely phenomenal but also I've got my parents and if you do enjoy this video don't forget to click that subscribe button and click, and the, click bell, the bell yeah. and comment down below to get way more videos just like this from Legoland, Chesterton, Four Park, Disney World, Disneyland all these stories all around the world which you guys would absolutely love to see trust me guys for very yeah, good vlogs but with no further ado let's have a little bit of a party because we've just got a new subscribe from one of you guys and we head on to the Haunted House Most awesome is vampire ever! The pleasure is all yours! Welcome to my home. And There's no know. other party in the town. Uh, yes, we're for the poor kids, subjects. They are here for the party. Yes! <laughs> That's boogie! You must all join in! We've just completed the greatest party in town. Yes, that was the Haunted House Monster Party and really fun attraction. I felt like maybe it was a bit too tame, if you know what I mean. They're not too tame, it was a bit too bumpy actually, it's opposite. And kind of thing, because there's less people on it now, they've got social distance, and they left the whole front row of the attraction empty. I felt like maybe because there's less people on it, it doesn't have that same force holding it down, which would have made it a lot more like bumpy to go around, but it is quite bumpy anyway. So I think they need to improve that over winter season but Hugo what do you find out because you went here on the opening um, uh, what did you think I still think the opening was the best ever time I went on it uh, mainly because Tom wasn't there I, I, knew, um, I knew that was going to come I knew that was going to come <laughs> um, but no it, it, it was very bumpy that ride it's, ever since it's opened it's just got bumpier and bumpier yeah honestly and Adam did you enjoy it yeah, I really enjoyed the Pontas Monster Party. And another thing I've got to say for this, I've got three things. But, so basically, I've just done this, yeah, and I've got strawberry, orange, and lemon, and I sort of like mixed them so they're like, yeah. two I said, and it's actually so good. So basically, what you do is you don't click the barcode. Because me and you guys are struggling, right? you don't click the barcode. You just scan it on the barcode. Yeah. And then, and then basically all your drinks comes up and you select one and you buy it and it looks so good. Yeah, so, so basically, if you don't know what the Star yeah. Free Star machine is, because basically, the thing I'm going to say quickly before we move on to that, is that we're filming a video of the, yeah. we're filming a video of this day before, and I don't know if the clip saved of it. And if you're watching it and you watched it from over at the end of where it's just me, it means that you watched the whole thing and the clips were saved. But we may have lost all the clips. So if you're watching it from where the, the at, like the uh, watching it from where the part of the base show is, that means you would have watched your deleted clips. So we actually might have lost when we did the Dragon Roller Coast and Laser. So only two rides, but you may have lost that. But basically, if you're watching it from there, basically the Coke Star Free Wild Machines are basically the new Merlin sort of cup, where you can pay like six pounds for the whole day and you get unlimited refills. Okay. No, here's, here's 10, Fort Park and all types of pay. But also, you do get your own discount on it. And I've just got to say, like, if you look at these cups, they're very, very good. And also, if you do buy um, two or more, you do get a discount off that as well, just because it brings it down. And the 
another tip, don't bring your Merlin flask to Legoland. Yeah. They, 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 they refill it, but they kick a fuss about yeah, it now. Yeah, Some yeah. people do it, depends the, the, she the, the, They're trying to get away from doing that anymore. I think these are like the new future of the flask and Merlin. They are good though, they're really future, good. We're going to do what we were in the past when we were way younger, but we're still doing it now. This is fairy tale no, book. The ride where we're the biggest kids. We are always, if you look around, if you look around in these books, we are always the biggest kids over here at the park. But we still love these attractions, and that's what we're going to head right now. On the classic, <laughs> you may get wet. You may get wet. We'll see about that as we head on to fairy tale book. Here we go on our favourite ride over here at Legoland. Oh God, oh. How, how, you said we might get wet, but that lid you almost got me. And, uh, got got, you're you're got you're got and actually, it's a, such a fantastic ride. And a little fact for you guys, it opened over in 1996. So that was before all of us were born. So oh, it's, it's, it's been around for a long time, this ride. <laughs> but nevertheless, it is such a fantastic ride. It's had many re-themes throughout the years. But I don't get why he's got a mobile phone in his hand. It's like, really, if you look at them... Come why, on, why what come phone on? is that? I bet, I bet he's watching theme park hosting videos. I think he is, yes. <laughs> and that's what you guys should do after this video. Watch some more because they're all great fun. You watch a theme park coaster video, you get a horse. Yeah, you get a horse if you watch a coaster video. No promise on that, though, guys. However, honestly, I love this attraction so, so much. And it has been like a charge of riders now, Adam. Yeah, it has. I mean, like stuff when we were younger, this wasn't there. And then it just added stuff over, over time. Yeah, it, it, it usually quite easily. Yeah. 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 Ready for it, ready for it, ready for it, and then, ooh, ready for it, ready for it, come on, go, go, wait, 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 oh, he's just going down really slow, oh, God, <laughs> and then he's going to shoot his back, but anyway, we're going to see you and show you some oh, more clips, oh, oh, fair we shall, but, and there you go, that was fairy tale book, we'll see you afterwards. Goodbye. After completing no the amazing fairy tale book, we need something to eat because we're going to go on Ninjago, but it's two hours. It's a yeah. tiny bit too long when you could do not like, really walk on. Yeah, no, not, not exactly walk on, which is a tiny bit too long when you could get a September like walk on. But we're going to get something to eat now because it is like half, it's half, you know, it's literally, oh, you go it literally is. Almost three o'clock, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be we only had lunch, and the queue are pretty long today. But we're still gonna do so many rides. I get so much done, including hopefully our last one of the day at seven o'clock. We are when the rides are open. We're gonna try doing the Dragon Rock and hopefully we can get some a sort of a night ride. Like we won't be completely night, but hopefully it should be sort of there. However, we're gonna try out a new place because normally we go right back there to the Bird Kitchen. But today we're gonna try out the Knights Kingdom Where they have Knights Lego fries. Lego fries. Lego fries. They have Lego yeah. fries. And, and also basically, me and you went there after school, I approach every week. Yeah, like every week, me and Anna after school, we used to, um, and I mean, we, I mean, we used to go up here cheap, and we used to so. literally go to a restaurant. Like, yeah. it, so I went up to Farmer Joe's, and we went down there. And we just tried a new place, it's really try, nice. Try, try and that, that was quite a long time ago, I remember in primary school, so I was like under 11 years old. But we really know what, and Adam got stung by a was, and he said yeah. he never wants to go again. No. But today's the day. But I've been talking about it really? since the meal deal went well, since the plan thing that has been happening in August. But I mean, obviously, it's not on there. But I just thought, I, I do want to have a visit there. And also, I've got Lego fries, so that makes me want to go and eat more. Lego fries. So, what we're going to do, I hope we're gonna, I'm going to try and end up here. We're going to head off into here, and then we're going to head over towards the brand new Night Kingdom table. But we're down here, basically. Oh, this, so this here, is where it's down there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice. Basically, this is where all the Halloween takes place um, at Legoland Windsor. And they usually, like last year, they had like a bucket there. As you can see by that. Yeah. They had like a bucket there, like a little house there. Yeah, and actually, very small, very I've always to eat. If you want to have a packed lunch, this is what I said to have packed lunch. It's this nice and quiet. Like it's near the park and it's not too busy because sometimes when you're over some at hock, you want to be able to chill out for a bit. And over here, it's really nice. I'll have a little picnic. There's yeah. table stuff yeah. all around here. And I, I personally really like it around here. I think it's such a nice area. And actually, I think once down here, what did we see? I think we saw like a fox or something down here. We, oh, saw, we saw a deer. That's we saw, what oh, it was. a deer. We saw a deer running back there. So that's how quiet it is. Because I said I love if that deer was actually went into a park itself. Because that would have been quite funny to watch. <laughs> cool for a deer, but it would have been quite nice, to, quite funny to watch. However, here in Angola, I've been talking to you for quite a while now. And you walk the more, do you guys want to see 
but I'll eat some food and give you a food review. Because here we go. Come here, knight. So let's go towards the Knight Kingdom. Wait, Hugo, what have you got? Lego fries. Lego fries. Now, believe it or not, that queue there is actually for the Dragon Roller Coaster. And I don't know what it is about it, but it makes me feel like mm, it's not only queuing to the entrance, it's queuing out the entrance and out the entrance of the castle. So it's quite a long queue for that attraction, and of course, the park is, is, is controlling the crowd. So I don't have time to get in here though, but this park is controlling the crowd. Oh, oh yes. Mm. Did you talk about the lunch? Oh, and we're going to do a lunch in a sec. But I mean, put the bill rip off for your fair pounds, and they let in it. It's like that busy for a while. Like literally, one of those kind of things. I literally mean, it is queuing out of the entrance, and it's queuing all the way round. There's no like bits of a stop you going through a whole thing. So that's probably at least like an hour and a half. Oh, what, something. Oh, what have you for me? And, and, and I do feel like though, that it's a bit of like they charge you too much money, really, because there's no Merlin passes. You should be able to get in for free, and we understand fair pound if they're gonna. Because obviously we can't charge you nothing because otherwise you're just going to go like we're going to go just go today and we'll book one for tomorrow just in case and then the people won't be able to go in as much but if we charge you a pound we expect them to have shorter queues than normal because they're meant to be close to but all wise like Merlin's challenge to clean up the entrance and everything like that but you got a little bit of food so here uh, we go talk about your food what oh did you have? God. If you come to Legoland usually I'd be inclined to tell you go Burger Kitchen here but today we found a new location and a wasp. Wait, this is a wasp on my camera. <laughs> Wait, it's on, on my hand. Where is that? It's on my hand. It's oh. On, oh my god, it was a wasp. Oh! 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 Anyway. As you, as you can see, it's, it's, a load of it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> um, yeah, I yeah. recommend you going up to the castle. And once you enter the castle, if you go to your right, there's a restaurant. And it does amazing stuff. It does Lego fries. Lego fries. Uh, Lego fries are really good. Lego fries are actually really good. And they're, also, they're more like potato chips than actually fries. But yeah. well, also, it's noted that the burgers at that restaurant are so much better than Burger Kitchen, and agree. it's cheaper. I do agree. It's a lot you, you, I, no, in my opinion, there's no point in actually buying an adult meal. I think if you're an adult, you can still buy a kids meal. But I don't think people buy an adult meal. It's like two pound more, and you get an extra like I'm gonna call it patty on top because I don't have a patty on top of it. But I honestly believe that actually the kids one is equally as good. It's very, very plain, but I don't really like any of the sauce with the cheese or stuff like that. But yeah, that's what I thought of a burger. Change of plan. We just got a bit hungry, so we're going to go into Burger Kitchen. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm still stuffed. And we literally just went up the hill to go down again. And we're now going to be heading back on to Pirate Falls. And it was the sort of thing where we kind of thought, what should we do? Pirate Falls, Pirate Falls. We decided to go for Pirate Falls because we thought it was going to be a short queue. It was dark like, around right out the entrance so it's definitely for our part so we're going to go on part falls instead yeah. and it's going to be a good this attraction. is the original one i wanted to do at this park it's a very nice ride it's very good yeah and dad and mama go to the burger kitchen they just love their burgers they just love <laughs> them. And, uh, and also yesterday tom was trying to build some plant kind of stuff so it was actually quite good I mean, if you know plant guys you can't even oh! turn tape and it's really annoying but also we suddenly found out a little fact about this ride this ride is actually made by zampana Exactly, a little fact you guys. Tofu, yeah, the and, and we're now going to head on to Pirate Falls Treasure Quest. I love this ride, I think it's great fun. Yeah, I love this ride. Oh my god, that's oh, <laughs> 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 It's worse than a normal ride, oh no! Oh, no. no. I'm protecting the bad oh. life of my life. Oh, it's so wet. My, my jacket's raining. Yeah, we are just completed. <laughs> no, that sounds really. That doesn't sound as good as I thought it was going to sound. But we just completed Pirate Falls. And good queue. I think it's only like half an hour. No, it's only 45 minutes. And it was so enjoyable, actually. I never heard how good fun it actually is. But who did you enjoy it? Yeah. Also, actually, they had the um, water effects on the ride. So, um, sort of like at the start, they have a. Uh, like all where they used to have water effects are all back on now pretty much. Yeah. So we actually got drenched There's a few like a mouse one and the, some other ones. At the start work. there's people spitting but out water. Spitting out water. And it's really, I was really impressed actually because that's what makes a ride for me. All the water. The fire effects are so low down now for me. But it would have been like number three on my top ten list. Which I've recently done which the link for that's up there. If you haven't checked it, there you go, Hugo, something like you do. There's a link for that up there. Oh yeah, uh, what's up But basically it was a really good fun attraction and I really enjoyed it but I think now we're going to head over towards Mia's Riding Adventure.
amazing ride is that? Mia's ride adventure, one of the most intense rides I've seen at park. I think it's actually the most intense ride <laughs> over at Legoland Winter. But honestly, fantastic, so enjoyable. And I honestly believe that that is one of the best rides here. I think I'm a very, very good at wrong on the list because that for me is better than lots of rides. I don't know what order I did it in. I think was it was with my list. I did the top 10 of Legoland. It was on your top 10, yes. Was it second? Uh. Is I the second or third? If it was, if it was third, I think I went down to second. I don't know what second. Oh no, 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 no it stays first. Because it goes that, Dragon, and then Haunted House. Oh, yeah. yeah, stay there. Don't worry, guys, no changing. Stay tuned to next year, we'll probably do another one to see what it's going to be like. But see if anything's updated. Anything updated Especially with yeah. the new additions of the new attractions. Yes. Uh, of like the new attractions. Yeah, I know. And actually, on the honest, you get a really good view of the new area which we built for later on. And unfortunately, for one reason that you can't film the ride, oh, I've got so many good shots for you guys. I've got a photo, I think. So if you want to see that photo, check out the construction update, which should have already, already been posted last Wednesday for that. But we're now going to have a look at the queue for Ninjago. Now, the child that's doing this is very slim. And it says it's going to be 90 minutes. But even if I scan advance, it's 35 minutes. It's not minutes. as far, we just checked. It's oh, literally five minutes. Five minutes. Still. Still. Five that's minutes. what I said, the queue times are really It's actually yeah. worth noting, if the queue's 90 minutes, check out the queue yourself. Because they always lie. Yeah. I will say. Uh, most, 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 most of the time. Most of the time. Especially at the end of the day. They put, they put it up a lot higher just to make sure that you don't go in it so then the staff can go home early. They do little things like that in the park. <laughs> which really, and it's really weird because at the end of the day, sometimes they work a lot quicker. Sometimes when you're going last five of the day, they go a lot quicker for queue lines. Probably because the staff want to go home. I want to they go much faster with input in the ride. But it looks a bit like a long queue. I don't know if it's worth doing it. Yeah, uh, don't know, oh, it looks 90. But we'll see what we're going to do, and we'll see you at our next attraction from Ninja Go. There you go, there were a few clips of the new land. It's coming out toward Legoland Winter, I think in 2021, but I'm not completely sure about what date it is. I don't think it is 2020. But it looks awesome. Stay tuned to the update to see it completely what it's going to be. And obviously we don't know yet, because it's going to be Lego Movie World, and then they kind of changed the plan. So my view, a little tip for you guys, it's going to be a... Now, nah, I'm not going to bother you. Check out the link up here. You see what it's going to be. Oh. <laughs> I've already done the link. So, here you go. When you're doing the link to this sort of thing. Oh, like, I have a job now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because we're basically doing it, well, you may not know. But we're all trying to do different parts of it. Because I used to get quite stressed out on all the work we had to do. Because it was hours, like, hours of editing you've got to do these sort of vlogs. And then you've got to do more editing for Wednesday videos. Then I have to do all the thumbnails, the description, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and as well as doing all the other stuff that I do for the channel, like analytics and stuff. It's a really long time to do that sort of stuff. So now, kindly thanks to Hugo. Jaden, Adam, and of course yours truly, Tom Dyke. We are splitting up all work so we can all get a little bit each and then make it much more so maybe we can do better vlogs. That's Jaden's editing them, of course, because I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm joking, joking. <laughs> but we have better vlogs on the channel and we are do so, so, so much. But we're going to now head on to Deep Sea Adventure, which is a new ride for 2020. We might not. Well, well maybe not. We don't know yet. We don't know. We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Hugo, have you been on a new one yet? Yeah, 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 I have. On Deep Adventure. Okay. Well, we're going to head down here, we're going to look at the scenery, and we'll see you on the attraction. Now, if you want to see the best treasure in Atlantis, you know what you need to do, really? 
Okay, we just lose the ride and Anthony, really good traction, great at OT, but now we're in a bit of a rush because we're trying to head on to the Dragon, which is the opposite end of the park. We're in six we're minutes. We're not going to run. Relax. Relax. And, and we're going to walk quite fast. You can see us go all down there. There's a chance we'll make it, but there's a chance we won't. So we're going to be able to see in this vlog. But I hope you guys enjoy this restabilized camera. Because actually, we recently just bought we invested in a new camera. And I know you're thinking that I didn't invest in a camera six months ago, which was like a lot of money. And I was like, yeah, I have. <laughs> but basically, some of the longer screens, we will try something new. And this camera's just got a built in stabilizer. So that's why, like, even if you do something like that, it's much more stabilized than normal because we kind of have it all built in. And it's much good for the vlogging now, I think. It's, yeah. very, it's very, very good for the vlogging. But you can see how- No, we need to speed up. We need to speed up. Here go, go on, let's like go. Still three, two, one, one go. go. <laughs> It's 58 past, we made it to the castle, we haven't been get onto the dragon. Oh, this is going to be close, oh god. No, I'm sorry, we might be able to make it, let's go and see. How we made it towards the dragon wall coaster for the last part of our day over here at Legoland Windsor. And we just have done it. We made it! Yay, we're on the chassis today. That's gone it, and we'll see you. And the McCall Court as well, so it's really good if it is open. We literally got it. In five minutes. And actually, like right now, it's 59 right, there's one minute till closing. So we literally got from the other side of the park to here. Oh, we're all slowly now. Four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, we got going. there. Four minutes to get it, you go. Can we all slowly, please, now? Yeah, yeah. we are. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, God. Tired. Let's see you on the ride. Yeah. Always a queue, like we used to do at the start of today, when you go way down there. But actually, you can let a queue like this, where it's completely walk on. Let's go. Here we go, last ride of the day. Last train, train, last train of the day. Last train on the dragon. Oh, oh let's see for this. Last ride of the day! Woo! And that was great fun. Good we made it there, but before we do the right ride, look how cool Merlin's challenge is. Like, they got the coolest lights in there. I don't know if you guys see them probably, but it just looks so amazing, Doc. And I come actually, I want to look at it on, when it gets to like Halloween, when it's open to like nine at night and it's pitch black. That'd be awesome. But if it has a lot empty out of the park than it used to be when we come down here earlier, as actually, and no one in here. The park is not actually closed yet, it's actually closing in an hour's time. So there'll be time to like, go to restaurants, get on to eat, because the park actually officially closes at 8 o'clock. But I was shocked, absolutely flabbergasted, at how short that queue was. Like, you saw it like, on camera, it was walk on. And at the start of the day, I can tell you, if I didn't get it on camera, if I didn't get all the clips, that queue, we were queuing out of the entrance. And yeah, you don't need to go down the entrance for that, it's out of the entrance in the same day as we walked straight on it. So, like, it shows. Judge P. Australia. Look at look at the day before you come. I don't know how long it says it. I think it says it's like 90 minutes. But it was walk on. So going to the end of the day, most of the kids have already gone home by then because they have tears. Especially when it's like seven o'clock now. Yeah, but especially Legoland, like Thorpe Park, there's mostly teenagers there. There are some families there, but they tend to go home late. Pretty much at the start of the day, it's busy because at the start of the day, it's quieter if you get there first. And then in the middle of the day, everyone would have turned up. But after like two o'clock or something, People will start slowly going home, and no one's going to turn up at 7 o'clock, are they? So, yeah, so basically, all you have to do is just go near the end of the day, and people are starting to go home because that means that you can get get on the ride and do queues over. However, I would really want it, I would like to go around in the queue a bit longer to get more of a dark ride, but I think it's starting to rain now, so it's a good time to get home, send this over to Jane Austen to edit this video, 
and then we're going to have an amazing time because we've got so many objects coming up. But luckily, and before maybe on Tuesday, we'll be back. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. I, I don't or know. Chesnton, or Chesnton. I, I might film vlog, I don't know yet if I'm filming vlog or not. But stay tuned if we do. Subscribe oh, to stay updated. But is that a queue for this game here? Yeah. Right. But I'm going to pass it and show you what queue is like. Tom, so, Tom, Tom, it's the only other ride right open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 is a queue for that game there. Oh, very long, but we're now going to meet my mum and dad no, no, and head up a queue. Oh, no, 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 head up a head up a hill towards the top. I'm sorry, we're going to hit you in the head. I'm going to hit you in the head. We're going to head up a hill towards the top and we're going to end the room. Okay, we just made it towards the top of a hill and that feels like a hike and a half. No other than I. I'm not another big, not big as exercise, but that is a tough hill. I think there's a day of walking, a day of running as well over the last rise. That feels like a lot of exercise and it's been a great day today. We're literally walking up the exit now after one of the best days of my life. I love it here at Lex Man. It's always a good day. And then we've got your shattered, but it's been a good day, isn't it? We've done loads of eyes. Apart yeah. from the camera messing up, naughty camera. Also, oh. I, you know what? It's also <laughs> good to mention. Um, say if you haven't been to Legoland before and like, your parents are like, oh, we'd rather you get, you get to do exercise, so you go to Legoland. This is say, exercise. Come to Legoland. You do probably a lot more exercise than you would in your neighbourhood. Well, I've like 15,000, 20,000. I haven't known exactly. I'll check in a bit. The reason I'm so much steps today is unreal. And over here at Legoland, you get that at all theme parks around the UK. You get this sort of exercise. Especially at Alton Towers, if the cable cars aren't open, you get a lot of exercise. But <laughs> it's been a great day, and I've loved it so, so much. The best thing probably for me was the camera breaking. No, no, no. It really wasn't. It was so annoying. But we managed to restart it, which is great, and to get a good vlog. I mean, who guys. knows? You could be watching this, and we could have restored the footage. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go on my computer and I'll do some serious coding. <laughs> and to see if I can get the footage. If you, ever see, um, if you've ever seen Tom coding, it's like. You know when you watch someone like hack into the to FBI or something? That's what like, that's what. That's that sort of guy I am. I'm just like that's a good coder. Like I know, I know how to get onto Google. What you do is you go onto your homepage and just click on the Google button. Whoa! I know. Calm down. I don't think it's too dangerous to be kept alive, Tom. I don't know the situation, mate. But anyway, that Legoland is really good fun. And Adam, what did you think of it? Oh, I really enjoyed today. Um, it's been so, so good. That last ride in the Dragon's amazing. And yeah, we just had such a good day. Like, literally, we've got so much done today. We have been here. This is the first ever time I can say this. We've been here, because obviously I've been here. I've been going here for 12 years now. Um, but like, like, basically, it's the first time we can ever say we've been here from 9.30 all the way. Yeah, yeah, quickly, quickly, quick, sorry. It's a really clever idea of the road and the sort of crossing up here. I mean, it's a very clever idea when kids are trying to leave your home park. Yeah, it's a very, but, very clever idea. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed today. We, we literally got so much. Shamingham, and Flash, all the way We've got on those. I was, I was really planning on Yeah, and about the steps, we, we have done 12,000 steps Whoa. today. So we also do a lot of steps at theme parks. You really do. Yeah. And I'm going to end the vlog now. We've got the car park. We've got for quite a while now. We literally, every time we filmed, we parked. Oh, no, 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 I know. We don't. We don't just do it on purpose. Yeah, we just. Like, we do park in these. Okay, that, do you need to pick me up? Best car park is what? In that car park there, it's the best car park that side because you can just walk straight in. It's really good, except from that car park. Yeah. So my name is Tom Derrick. Yeah. That's who got on the phone. That's Alan Derrick. And it's been a great day over here at the park today. So I'll see you guys later. I'll. I'll. I'll Goodbye.